Gentlemen, welcome to the Palace of Wisdom. Johnny Drip Drip is in the house. Well, none of that really makes any sense to me, but he's fun to watch. The following contest is an Elimination Chamber match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, John Morrison. There's more heavy metal enveloping this ring than there is in my MP3 player. And guys, that's a lot of metal. Big matches are where this guy thrives, and competing for that title is about as big as it gets. The ring general has arrived. The longest reigning NXT UK champion ever. One of the most powerful and calculating superstars this industry has ever seen. And introducing the champion, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Volter. Take six of WWE's hungriest stars, add tons of unforgiving steel, and remove all the rules. That is why Elimination Chamber is so devastating. I love this. An entrance befitting of a true superhero. And the best part about it, Saxton, is this isn't a movie. This isn't a comic book. This is real life. Not CGI, not special effects. Ricochet is the real deal. And introducing the challenger from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today. But, Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. And introducing the challenger, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 228 pounds, Jay Uso. This is an all-star field for this match. He's been undergoing a lot of training for tonight, not taking this title opportunity lightly. Kingston. Kofi Kingston 
Been in WWE for well over a decade. Kofi Kingston, who finally realized his dream to become introducing the WWE Champion. Representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. Don't you just feel good when Kofi Kingston enters the arena? I feel better when he exits, but we are about to see some gravity-defying maneuvers and unparalleled agility. But Kofi gets down to business, Corey, when it's time for action. No doubt about it. You don't last this long in WWE unless you know how to get the job done, which Kofi does. Guys, we're about to see a fight. I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, and introducing the challenger, representing the Blood Brothers from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior. Guys, I was in the arena when the Elimination Chamber debuted in 2002, and somehow the structure has become even more destructive. He's been waiting a very long time for this title opportunity. I hope he's ready. Athletes with an insatiable drive to become the Intercontinental Champion facing off in this terrifying Elimination Chamber match with Kofi and Sheamus. As looking on with daggers in their eyes, we await to see Ricochet, John Morrison, Jay Uso, and Walter Sheamus. Oh, knee right to the face! Oh, man. Sheamus anticipated that one. Punch! between the shoulder blades. Reversal! Catches Sheamus there. Ooh. Oh, he launches himself in the ropes. Rolling neck snap. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. Oh. Focus on the arm here. The challenger eating up some damage. But he knew he'd take a beating inside the chamber. He prepared for this and still has plenty left in the tank. I'm gonna stress the from the top. Double arm handle pass. Kofi Kingston's dynamic offense on display. And Kofi is on a roll. Yeah. What are we gonna see here? Oh, a neck breaker. for where in the corner now. to the 
right in the head. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Challenger 
survive that. By the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start top row. So splash. We can have a new champion. Two, three, no. Two count. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Well, let's see if that kick out was a spark or is a Uso. So That match deserves another look. Here we go. Here is your winner and the new WWE Intercontinental Champion, Jay Uso. What a shift into the tides with this championship match. We really are looking at a new era, Cole. Soak it in.